So recently, a lot has been made of uh, the Cardi B song with Megan Thee Stallion. Um, just going to call it WAP. You know, they're not paying too much attention to what it actually means. Most people, especially in my age group, probably don't even really listen to rap that much anyway. But uh, it, it it got me to um, got me to think about something. You know, I saw a lot of people respond to it. Um, not just Ben Shapiro, but also some black intellectuals and st- different stuff like that, like Boyce Watkins. And then, of course, there's people out there that are, that are kind of defending it. Um, so I just kind of want to toss my, 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 um, my opinion in the bag. I have no opinion. Like I said, on uh, my rap and hip hop video, most black, black people don't even really like rap music. So that means they don't really even like stuff like this, but this got me to thinking about something. And I was thinking about, uh, Nelly. So back in 2004, 2004, uh, Nelly had a video tip drill, um, where he slid a credit card down a stripper's butt and, um, he was uh, summarily then attacked by the black feminist class, and um, he was basically threatened to be protested if he came to Spelman College, which is an all-women's college, um, black women's college, and Morehouse, which is a men's college. So the black male feminists of Morehouse and the black feminists of Spelman were going to boycott Nelly if he came to their uh, to their college campus to perform, even if it was for a... Uh, I think it was it was some type of benefit from um, his sister had just kind of got a disease and he was going on tour to uh, raise awareness and everything. <clears throat> and even during that, he was attacked for it. And he was attacked because the lyrics were, mis- were they said it was misogynistic. And they said that the video was uh, misogynistic, even though the women were strippers and they agreed to the to the whole ordeal. It didn't matter. Ultimately, all that mattered was that Nelly was involved with strippers and the tip drill video says you know it must be your ass because it ain't your face all of a sudden this was worthy of condemnation and he had to be attacked for it so 16 years later we see uh cardi b and megan the stallion you know, they're doing this video and it's essentially uh promoting prostitution and uh a lot of the same people feel the need to defend it because Ben Shapiro said something bad about it. And that should go to show that these people don't have values. There is no values whatsoever. You know, it's one thing to be like, uh, it's one thing to be like, well, I was a kid back then and maybe I, maybe I thought it was harmful, but now I see that it's not really all that harmful, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's one thing to be, to be upset when you hear about a, a, a black man say something about uh, women and, you know, being gold diggers or something like that. And he's attacked for it. There was an article that came out almost 10 years later uh, on the Nelly situation saying that, well, we just wanted to have a conversation. This was some uh, African-American, African-American studies uh, PhD from somewhere, I think Penn State. And she was, you know, nobody said they was going to, she claimed nobody was going to actually protest Nelly. And that uh, we just wanted to have a conversation, even though they made it quite obvious. And it was an MTV. It was all over the place that Nelly was not welcome at these college campuses if he was going to uh, for performing tip drill or for even making it. And for the video in the video, by the way, was shown at like two in the morning. So it's not like kids saw it. It was like something that people saw at two o'clock in the morning on BET, by the way. So, and I, I'm, no, I'm pretty sure, I'm not, I'm not sure if it was on MTV or not. I'm pretty sure it was on BET. It was on BET Uncut, which I'm pretty sure started at two or three in the morning. So you had to stay up late to see the tip drill video. And uh, he was treated like a pariah. But Cardi B, who has said that she drugged and robbed men and that she has made songs like this before. And uh, Megan Thee Stallion, who always makes songs like this, perfectly fine. They got to be defended because... You know, Ben Shapiro is going to say something about it. So we have to defend it, which is goofy. And it shows you that these people have zero values. There are no values because nothing matters. Now, to talk more about Cardi B, Cardi B did say something sort of sort of smart. She said that, you know, there are female rappers who don't rap about the stuff that I rap about. But you guys don't listen to that. You guys don't buy that. So I'm going to make what people want to buy. And she's 100% correct, which is why I'm not mad about, you know, WAP or anything else that comes out of uh, the gutter of rap music now. I don't care because I already know that there's people, there's a consumption uh, port to it. You know, people buy it. People will listen to it. And also, but to me, it was funny. Now, what's funny about it to me is Ben Shapiro and Cardi B have two different demographics. And people have made fun of Ben Shapiro 
for his not refusal to say the word pussy. He said he's kind of just says P word and uh, him actually reading the lyrics quite literally enunciating everything that he says. And um, which is not how you do rap. You don't read rap lyrics by enunciating every word. <laughs> but, you know, him being a nerd or whatever, and people just kind of decided to make fun of him for it. But you have to realize, man, Ben Shapiro appeals to a, a much wider audience than Cardi B, believe it or not. Because people who listen to Ben Shapiro are, some, some of them are religious figures. Some of them are college students. Some of them are uh, kindly old grandmas. You know, some of them are, but the people who listen to Cardi B are not kindly old grandmas. Most of them are young people, uh, 18 to 34, uh, who frequent strip clubs and get drunk and stuff like this. Completely different demographics. Okay, completely different demographics. And it's always funny when uh, these demographics cross paths. So it was entertaining to me to see all the remixes and different things that uh, Ben Shapiro has been a part of since they took his voice and decided to um, put it to put it to beat and do all these different things. Like that was funny. I thought that was interesting. But um, Cardi B is not wrong. You know, back to back to that statement. Cardi B is not wrong. You know, because there's Rhapsody. There was, of course, Lauryn Hill in the past. There's been other female rappers, you know, Jean Grey who don't rap about their vaginas and they actually talk about a lot of different things, but nobody cares, you know, because they would rather hear a woman talk about her vagina and sucking dick. You know I mean, that's just kind of how it is. And, um, I can't be mad at Cardi B for making what people want to hear. You can't be mad at that. That's like you, and you can't be mad at Ben Shapiro because he doesn't want his children to be exposed to this. Cause why would you want your children to be exposed to that? So ultimately it's a stalemate. I mean, you're not wrong on either side. You're you're right if you say Cardi B has freedom of expression. She can say whatever she wants. She can make whatever songs she wants. As long as other people are willing to buy it, she's going to make it. She has a right to. 100% correct. If you're saying that Ben Shapiro has a right to say that he doesn't like this, to mock it, to make fun of it, to say children shouldn't be exposed to this, he has 100% right to say that. And I tend to agree with them because I don't, I wouldn't want my, if I had a daughter, I wouldn't want her listening to wet ass pussy. I would not want her listening to that. I would not want her listening to somebody talking about dicks tickling their tonsils, which I just listened to the song in order to do this video. I had never even heard of it before. So um, it is what it is, man. <laughs> I just think that it's kind of, uh, it is bullshit that, uh, that Nelly got boycotted for something far less worse, far worse, far less, you know, uh, bad as this, you know, I don't know what I was trying to say there, but um Tip drill is nothing compared to, you know, wet ass pussy and some of the other stuff that uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B has made and the statements that they've made. Nothing could be as, you know, <laughs> but it's massage noir, which is some shit that uh, black feminists made up that uh, that that N Nelly makes a song for strippers that and strippers enjoy. But, you know, strippers also enjoy WAP. And nobody cares. You know, it's supposed to be shut up. You know, uh, we're doing our thing over here. But it is what it is, man. People are people are two-faced. They have no values. And um, but people who have opposite values, like a Cardi B and a Bishop Shapiro, needs to be able to live together in a country. And people need to be able to make fun of each other. And so I'm, I'm okay with Ben Shapiro making fun of Cardi B. And I'm okay with people making fun of Ben Shapiro for being a stick in the mud and uh, reading rap lyrics and taking it literally. But, you know, there's a lot of other people out there, too, who are um, who are offended. And there are a lot there are a lot more black people that are more offended than Ben Shapiro, if we're being honest. You know, Boyce Watkins has been doing, you know, all types of parodies. And he's just lost his mind over this thing. Like Megan Thee Stallion has him completely triggered. She has had him triggered. Megan Thee Stallion and that other fat broad. I don't know what her. I don't remember what her name was. Uh, Lizzo. That's her name. He, they have had been uh, Boyce Watkins triggered for almost two years. Just Cardi B, Lizzo, and Megan Thee Stallion have had him triggered for like three years. Ben Shapiro mentions them once, and it's like some big uh, conservative effort to quiet uh, Cardi B. It's like, no. Boyce Watkins, who is black, and is black, a black um, finance professor, wants rap music taken off the air. He wants, uh, uh, he talked about future, saying that, um, the future lyrics uh, um, should should get him banned from black America and that, you know, no other people would have what let you sell this poison to their children and all that type of stuff. He is far more radical on the issue than Ben Shapiro. But Ben Shapiro is white, so we can make fun of Ben Shapiro. We can we can fuck with Ben Shapiro because he's white. He's a white stick in the mud. But the black stick in the muds 
um, well, we can just ignore them because they don't really have a voice. And that's just kind of how things are. But what do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.